Today, I'm super excited about hosting Frank Seispedes, who is the Harvard Business School professor and an author of multiple books, most recently, The Sales Management That Works. I'm very excited about this conversation. Frank, thank you so much for making time. Join us on the Abbey Podcast today. John, it is my pleasure to be here. Thank you for hosting me. I don't have a particularly uh, exotic background. You know, I got my uh, doctorate. I then joined uh, the Harvard Business School faculty. I was a marketing uh, professor. I made my way up the hierarchy. And then after 10 years, I left academia and with some others uh, started a business, ran it for 10 years and got lucky. Uh, I could spin this a different way, John, if you like, but it was dumb luck. We, <laughs> we sold at exactly the right time. Harvard called me up and said, how'd you like to come back and be a professor again? And I said, yes, I've taught strategy, uh, the, um, the startup course, and I began courses on uh, entrepreneurial sales and marketing. And I can tell you that 10 years running a business increases your interest and respect for sales in particular. Can you first tell us a little bit more about the motivation behind writing this book? and who can benefit most from some of the insights that you share? It's not as though the uh, world is uh, waiting breathlessly uh, for yet another book about sales. In fact, if you go to Amazon, out will come over 80,000 stock keeping units. Of all the business functions, sales is by far the most context specific. Yet sales is also that area where for some reason, people feel most comfortable making huge generalizations that are usually unsupported by any data beyond what in academia we would call N equals one. When I sold for Oracle, when we invested in PayPal, you know, that, that kind of stuff. So as somebody who's looked at this topic and done a lot of research in it for 30 years, and ran a business, I wanted to write a book that says, look, this is what research does and does not tell you about this core activity. What people say about online technologies and data simply does not reflect managerial reality. And I think the pandemic has raised the stakes for getting this right. So again, I thought it was an important topic and in the current situation, a very timely topic. 